Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a trick to customize what you do with your Cricut Joy machine. In this case, uh, you'll see the little machine printing out, uh, well excuse me, cutting out onto some white printable vinyl. Um, you'll also notice that it's not got any color. And this is actually to your advantage because now you can customize that color to whatever project you would like. And I'm going to be using some alcohol-based uh, tri-blend markers from Spectrum Noir. And uh, we're just going to be taking those and coloring over the top of this. We're going to be taking that marker after squeegeeing down that piece of vinyl and I'm literally just going to scribble over the top of this and you will see here in just a moment that you can see through this image and you'll be able to see where you need to weed it out. You're going to notice a change in the color from what I started with until now only because I had to start over. I kept getting interrupted and anyway. So now that I have this uh, colored as I want it to be, I'm going to start peeling back that release paper. Before I actually uh, peel it away, I'm going to use a little spatula tool here and gently go over the surface of the vinyl so that when I put my transfer tape on, it's going to release a little bit more cleanly. You're going to want to very gently and slowly peel this um, sticker layer, I guess the top layer off, so you can reveal your, uh, in this case, sentiment that just says thank you. And I'm going to weed this out. Now you're going to be smart and you're going to use an actual weeding tool instead of a pair of scissors. But before I weed it, I'm going to take the time and then just go over the top so I know everything is stuck down very well. And here you see me using a pair of scissors to uh, get rid of the little pieces um, that don't need to be there. Um, the U, excuse me, the O and the A both needed to be weeded out in this case. I am going to be using some regular Cricut transfer tape for this project. Um, it's what I had available, of course. Even I would have preferred to use the Joy release paper just because it's made to go with this other product. Now I have applied the clear transfer tape over the top of my cutout image and I'm using my little scraper tool to uh, pick it up onto that vinyl. You're going to want to peel this back. I usually peel it either towards myself or away from myself. And you want to go nice and slow so you pick up the whole thing. Once you've picked this up, you're going to bring in your card. This is actually one I made earlier. I know the colors don't match, but this is more for the purpose or the demonstration of this. Um, in the video, I'm going to be placing this down just like you would place a sticker onto the inside of my card. And I'm once again going to use that squeegee uh, scraper tool, whatever you want to call it, to apply this down. You're going to want to be very gentle with this one as well as you peel off that um, release paper from your cut image just because you obviously don't want it to tear. So you want to do that slowly as well. Thank you everyone so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share my videos on your social media. Subscribe if you haven't already. And have a great day. Stamp happy. Be a blessing. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.